Yellowstone National Park is renowned for its beauty and natural features like geysers and hot springs that draw millions of people to the park each year. However, much of Yellowstone's splendor stems from the supervolcano beneath it. This is because the hot spot beneath Yellowstone is one of the reasons why the region creates much of the park's unique offerings. Called the Yellowstone Caldera, or Yellowstone Plateau Volcanic Field, this area encompasses three distinct states. The size of this supervolcano and its activity have long led experts to say that its eruption could trigger a global extinction event, even ending humanity as we know it. Will Yellowstone erupt? Well, that's a crucial question. And those living near the park want an answer soon. You can find out what experts say about the Yellowstone caldera below. It seems anyone who's been kept awake at night, fearing a Yellowstone volcano eruption that could wipe out humanity can now sleep better. Experts believe that a major eruption from the Yellowstone caldera is unlikely in the national park. However, the lead scientist at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory has a different theory, and he shared it with Cowboy State Daily. Lava flows are the most likely form of activity in the future, Mike Poland told the publication. However, don't start paying attention to signs of lava flowing just yet, as Poland followed up that statement with another saying, and even that is highly unlikely. Previously, many experts said that a Yellowstone eruption would certainly be deadly for those within the eruption zone, while the gas and ash the volcano spews would sweep away those who are not swept away by the lava. According to the United States Geological Survey, USGS, unless you lived around 70,000 years ago, you may have missed the opportunity to witness the supervolcano in all its glory.
This is because the USGS states that the volcano likely last erupted between 70,000 and 180,000 years ago. During that eruption, they believe a large lava flow would erupt from the caldera, which could be up to 230 kilometers wide. It sounds like they based this estimate on Yellowstone's current appearance, then used different formations and collapses to recreate what an eruption might have looked like at that time. They were also able to use this information to detect previous eruptions, which the USGS estimates likely occurred 2.08, 1.3, and 0.631 million years ago. This means they occurred on average every 725,000 years. Unfortunately, this doesn't mean we have hundreds of thousands of years left before we see the next eruption, as this volcano is unpredictable. However, it does give those living in the area around Yellowstone a little peace of mind knowing how far apart these eruptions typically are.